identification of differential transcripts during host pathogen interaction wheat is the second major food crop grown in the world it was originated from southwest asia wheat is mainly cultivated in the regions of china soviet union usa india and canada according to the recent data the world production of wheat in 2011 was 694 million ton wheat is mainly affected by rust diseases caused by fungal pathogens there are three types of rust namely black rust or stem rust yellow rust or stripe rust and leaf rust or brown rust Among these three leaf rust causes more yield loss by reducing the photosynthesis and kernel weight and it also reduces the yield by reducing the number of kernels per head Leaf rust is caused by a fungal pathogen Paxinia triticina has many races of which race 77 play a major role in causing leaf rust and it possesses 12 biotype During host pathogen interaction there will be up and down regulation of certain leaf rust resistance genes occur LR28 is one such gene which shows resistance to race 77 as many 47 leaf rust resistance genes have been cloned and characterized so far differential expression of leaf rust resistance genes during plant pathogen interaction can be used as a powerful tool to screen the wheat cultivars which are resistant to leaf rust In this study attempts have been made to identify the transcription derived fragments of LR24 gene in susceptible and resistant near isogenic lines of wheat using cDNA RAPD analysis. The identification of transcription derived fragments includes following steps: pathogen inoculation to the wheat seedlings, RNA isolation by wheat leaf samples, cDNA synthesis RT PCR amplification and urea page analysis rust pathogen inoculation the wheat genetic stocks used in this study are leaf rust susceptible variety PBW226 which lacks leaf rust resistance gene LR24 and its resistant near isogenic variety HW2016 carries dominant leaf rust gene LR24 from IARI regional station Wellington for inoculation of rust pathogen 10 days old seedlings are selected before inoculation hands are washed with 70% ethanol and water has to be sprinkled to the seedlings to maintain the moisture necessary for the development of rust infections if the second leaves of the seedlings are big then remove them by pinching then scrape the rust spores by lancet needle and apply uniformly on all the leaves of the seedlings after inoculation of the spores spray the water on seedlings to keep the moisture at high level then place the inoculated seedlings inside the glass chamber After pathogen inoculation the seedlings start developing the rust infection then the infected leaf samples are collected at different interval of time RNA isolation by trisol method First of all the scissors and the pipettes used for RNA isolation are wiped with 70% ethanol to prevent the RNA degradation by RNAs and also pre-chill the pestle and mortar with liquid nitrogen to prevent the RNA degradation Cut the wheat leaf samples into small pieces and grind it with liquid nitrogen into fine powder then transfer the ground leaf sample into a pint of tube and add 1 ml of trisol solution into that 
then vortex the append of tube for proper mixing. Centrifuge the sample at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. Collect the supernatant into a fresh append of tube and add 200 microliter of chloroform and mix by vertexing for 15 seconds. After vertexing, incubate the sample at room temperature for 5 minutes. Then centrifuge the sample at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes and collect the supernatant. Add 500 microliter of ice cold isopropanol for RNA precipitation and keep for incubation at room temperature. Centrifuge the sample at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes to get the pellet. Then wash the pellet with 75% ethanol. Then the RNA is dissolved in nucleus free water and stored at minus 80 degree temperature. CDNA synthesis by fermentas kit. The materials required are reverse transcriptase, ribonuclease, DNTP mix, reaction buffer, nucleus free water and RNA. In the first step, add 3 microliter of RNA into a PCR tube to prepare the reaction mixture. Then add 1 microliter of oligo DT primer and 8 microliter of nuclease free water and mix well. Keep the reaction mixture in water bath at 65 degree Celsius temperature for 5 minutes. After incubation, keep it on ice for chilling. After chilling, 1 microliter of RNAs inhibitor, 2 microliter of DNTP mix, 4 microliter of reaction buffer and 1 microliter of reverse transcriptase are added and mixed gently. Then incubate the reaction mixture at 42 degree Celsius temperature for 1 hour afterwards Terminate the reaction by keeping the reaction mixture at 72 degree Celsius for 5 minutes. The basic principle involved in cDNA synthesis is that the single standard RNA will be having polyatyl at the 3' prime end. So, oligo DT sequences are used as primers and cDNA can be synthesized by using RNA dependent DNA polymerase enzyme reverse transcriptase. By this way, single standard cDNA can be synthesized from RNA. Further, it can be converted into double standard by PCR. In identification of differential transcripts, single standard cDNA are used for RAPD analysis and double standard cDNA can be used for AFLP analysis. RT-PCR amplification The cDNA RAPD analysis was performed by RT-PCR. The reaction mixture was prepared by using following PCR components. RAPD primers OPBC20, OPBD20 and OPBD17, 8 nanogram quantity of cDNA, 0.2 micromolar quantity of primers, 200 micromolar of DNTP mix, 1x concentration of buffer and 0.3 unit of TAC DNA polymerase. The thermo profile was set according to the following conditions. Initial denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes followed by 45 cycles of denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius for 1 minute, annealing at 37 degrees Celsius for 1 minute, primer extension at 72 degrees Celsius for 1 minute, final extension at 72 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes and final old at 4 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Next step is urea page. 6% acrylamide gel is prepared with 7 molar of urea, acrylamide and bisacrylamide, 
टेन एक्स कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ टी बी ई बफर टेन परसेंट ऑफ ए पी एस एंड टेमेड देन द जेल इज फिल्टर्ड एंड इंजेक्टेड बिटवीन आई पी सी बेस एंड ग्लास प्लेट After polymerization, the comb is removed and samples are loaded along with the dye, and unit was run at 100 volt. Now the buffer is drained. IPC base and glass plates are separated. The plate is kept in fixer and washed with double distilled water. then the gel is stained with silver nitrate solution and again washed with double distilled water gel is treated with developer till the bands appear then it is air dried and documented the presence and absence of bands were scored as 0 and 1 results the comparison of amplification pattern between resistant and susceptible cdna sample using rapd primers indicated the differential expression of 88 transcription derived fragments and some of them were common to both the samples the size of the tdfs were ranges between 100 to 900 base pairs and most of them were expressed after 96 hours of pathogen inoculation then the tdfs were eluted using agarose gel and sent for sequencing